hello everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome back to prof choice food channel if you're new to this channel welcome don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i post new videos and to my loyal subscribers on do hello mira magnio today we'll be cooking garden eggs too so we're going to need garden egg you can use the white one or the green one whichever you prefer is fine the next ingredient we're going to need is fresh tomato pepper and onions so you're going to blend them together but don't blend them too fine you know just roughly blended is fine the next ingredient we're going to need is fresh fish so you can use any protein of your choice if you can use meat any type of meat or seafood but I'm, I cho I'm choosing to use fresh fish today already seasoned and steamed it the next ingredient we're going to need is bomo or cow skin this is optional but I prefer it The next ingredient we're going to need is fresh lobster. Already removed the head. This is optional as well. And then we have vegetable oil. In this plate, I have salt, I have seasoning cubes, and I have crayfish ground crayfish so those are the three ingredients in this plate then i have anise blended anise spice then cinnamon powder then coriander powder in this bottle i have fennel fennel greek and clove blended together we're going to need a pinch of that so let's go ahead and start the video. So in a pot, go ahead and put about two cups of water and then place a stainless plate inside the pot of water on top of the water. No, don't, don't, don't sink it. Just on top, just like that. Gently place it. And then we're going to put the garden eggs inside. So you don't want to, we don't want to boil the garden egg. We want to steam it. So don't allow water to get into the plate. So you're going to steam it dry. So just close the pot. Place it in the stainless plate like this and then close the pot and allow it to boil for 10 minutes. So you're just going to steam it up for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes later, see I opened the pot, it's boiling inside. So that looking good. See how soft it is. So I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to put it in a plate like this and then use a fork or a spoon to mash it. So gently mash it until you have all the pieces all and you have tiny pieces of it so after doing it like this go ahead and set it aside we're going to need it later So in a dry pot, place a dry pot on the stove and then put your vegetable oil inside and allow it to heat up. So we're going to put the fresh tomato, the pepper and the onion mixture that we blended earlier. We're going to put it in a hot in the hot oil though. It should be the oil should be hot. So put all three of them in there and then we're going to close the pot and let it cook for 10 minutes. Looking good. So go ahead and stir it. Ten minutes later, stir it. Right now we're going to put our salt. We're going to put in our salt and then our seasoning. So put those two and then stir it. After stirring it, we're going to allow it to cook for five minutes. We're going to put our lobster, then our bomo, 
and then allow close it and allow it to boil for more after you stir it So now we're going to put our cinnamon, just a pinch of cinnamon. Then we're going to put our fennel, fennel, the fennel Greek and the clove mixture. And then we're going to put our crayfish. Then we're going to put a pinch of blended anise, spice and the coriander powder. Just a pinch of, of those. So this is the time to put the rest of the spices. But remember, the blended anise, just a pinch of it, and the coriander powder, just a pinch of it. So go ahead and stir it real nicely. And then gently place your protein. I'm using fish, so I'm going to gently place it so I don't pieces the fish. I want them to be whole at the end of the meal. So go ahead and stir it gently in there so as not to pieces it. So stir. Remember, my fish is already steamed and seasoned. So allow it to boil for about two minutes, and this is what it should look like. So now the final ingredient, the king of the meal, the garden egg. So go ahead and place it in, in batches like that. And then go ahead and stir it. Stir, very, be very careful not to piss your fish. Stir it real gently and nicely. So cover your pot and allow it to boil for three minutes. All right, so this is what it should look like at the end. So you have done very well. Good job. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you joining us today. Try this recipe and let me know in the comment section. I hope you like it because I know I'm going to enjoy it. So look, I'm going to enjoy mine with some potatoes, some boiled potatoes. You can use rice. You can use yam. You can use corn, anything. You can use this recipe to eat anything. So the, the sky is the limit. It's your choice. So try it out and let me know in the comment section. I'll be stepping it down with some fruit just to be fancy, you know. But this is it, guys. Try it out and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Love you. Bye.